How's it going YouTube? Welcome to the Cosmic Ray channel. I am your host, Cosmic Ray. So uh, I wanted to talk about something that happened to me uh, maybe like a little less than a couple of weeks ago. But actually, probably I think more like a week. And normally I would put this under the story time of Cosmic Ray, but I feel like I need to do another playlist called like the Cosmic Ray Experience. However, it always seems like it's kind of like a still story time of Cosmic Ray anyways. It's just I know in the traditional sense when I've done the the story time of Cosmic Ray um, ones, it, it seems like it's more kind of like a dark or like kind of more like a spooky kind of you know thing. Uh, however, this wasn't anything like a spooky. However, this was like a de definitely an experience, more like a synchronistic type of thing. Um, coincidence. I, I'm, I'm not a, more of a person that speaks on coincidences, so um, I'm just kind of go you know into that. So. So, like most story time the Cosmic Ray, uh, this is an actual, you know, true story, you know, that actually happened to me. And um, this isn't sometimes like, you know, I always talk about like, certain dreams I've had or anything like that, or like premonitions. So in this sense, uh, this is something that did actually happen to me. So, like most story time the Cosmic Ray, one day, uh, one day uh, I was meeting uh, up um, at a particular location to see some uh, see my kids. And what had happened was... Uh, in the meantime, I was felt like an I guess urgency, you know, something inside, internally, uh, or guiding, if in another another sense, that I was supposed to come to this location earlier. I mean, like thirty minutes earlier than I was supposed to, and it was a different feeling. I mean, it's okay to be early, obviously, nothing wrong, you know, spooky with that, right? Um, so, however, the thing was like that day. When I was at work, I had some like foot problems and, and whatnot, just from running and just something that happened at work too. So it, it was something that again just hurt. So I actually took half the day off. So that was also kind of like a random thing that I was supposed to be at this particular location um, 30 minutes even earlier with half the day off and kind of thing. So I had to say that part with my foot hurting because once you realize what was going on, you know, it's one of those I wouldn't be have done what I was doing so instead of like meeting at a particular spot like it's in a shopping center like in a grocery like a, where you have like a big grocery store and then there's other like little shops and I'm not, not, not saying that it's like a mom and pop type shops but it's like other places there like good like popular coffee shop and then there's like banks and then there's like some other things that's around this little like uh, area um, I, I see that because I was gonna meet them on one edge of, of like where the store ends kind of thing and what ended up happening was that from there, instead of just sitting there, because my foot hurt, right, and just waiting, you know, for them to get there, uh, I ended up taking like a little stroll. Something told me to, to go for a walk. Now, given the time that I was driving from my home to this location, my foot was a little bit better because I was off my feet, you know, in a sense. So, you know, I felt, the, you know, trying to make logic sense of all this, you know, I was like, well, my feet probably felt a little bit better at the time, so it was, maybe it was okay for me to walk. Um, However, I mean, if you saw me throughout the day, I wasn't really you know, apt to walking. Anyways, as I go for this, felt this sense inside me, this guidance sense to, to go for this walk or stroll. Um, I, I've been this location many times, so it's not like anything really different. It's just I haven't been there, like I guess, recently. I go for a walk and go down this little strip. I pass this particular type of, like, I guess you want to call it a drugstore, just to, you know, not to keep any names in there. Uh, a certain type of drugstore and as I walk past like literally like Susan like here's like the drugstore I'm like you know or sorry here's the drugstore and I'm like literally walking past and I passed the door I was like like I went back something just told me to to go back in there now honestly I, there was no sense of me to to go in there at all like I wasn't trying to buy anything in particular I wasn't trying to um like I mean you can get a candy drinks whatever you know so I, I didn't I don't have an urgency or I didn't feel the need to, to get anything like that at all um, but something told me t to go in there and I I don't, I don't know I don't know what it was don't know you know I can't really tell you why um, it's just sometimes when you try to follow your spirit guides or you try to follow your guiding higher self whatever it is feel God universe whatever whatever you know you're, you're feeling this is your angels or something's guiding you whatever it is could be intuition, whatever, right? Something was was telling me to, to kind of go in there. And like I said, I was just going to walk past. Um, 
so I, I go in and while I'm, you know, going into this type of place and going looking at every aisle, you know, just kind of looking down at the next aisle, kind of looking down. Don't know why I was doing that. Just, I don't know. Like, I don't know why I was supposed to be there. Okay. So instead of just walking aimlessly around there, you know, probably the people there probably thought I was going to steal something, but you know, I was just there just to, you know, for my own reason. So walked the next aisle, kind of looked. And I saw a woman like on a cart and as I took one more step, it was just like really quick. It all happened like just all of a sudden like I looked and I was like, oh, okay, no big deal. And then I took one more step past the little aisle and you hear this like gah, 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 through the thump. Like and you're like, what the hell was that? You know, I just I don't know, I just feel like something something major happened. Now when I got there, no uh, employee of this particular establishment was there, nor did they come um, during this whole time about to tell you what happened. Uh, at all from from beginning to finish nothing as if like either they didn't care they didn't hear it I mean you had to, hear, to have heard it. it it was it wasn't like this place was super busy or was loud crowded um, I wouldn't say it was dead inside but there was no one around the area at all and there was, there was like a pharmacy there that was open and there's people in the in the check lanes or cashiers however you want to call it um, they were there you know a couple people in line but no one around this area, and it was pretty loud. And the echo of, of what had happened, you know, was loud enough for anyone to hear. So, you know, just to my, you know, thought, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go check this out. And this happened really quick. So as I you know, walked a little past, like, and just went back in, and, or went back to this little aisle. It was woman, um, just to describe, obviously, I, you know, I don't care you know, what you look like kind of thing. And I'm not trying to put anyone down, but just to kind of give you a visualization, you know, what I was seeing. You know, there was a woman, um, I, I would say, you know, if I had to, you know, force myself to say something, I guess somewhat heavy set, um, you know, weighed definitely more than I would. And she was in a motorized, you know, like scooter or car, however you want to word that. Um, it was pretty big too because um I, you know my my dad has one of these things sometimes to, to stroll around in, and this one looked look like the one that she had had like i guess more horsepower or something the wheels were bigger anyways just trying to give you a painting picture and this red scooter and she the scooter didn't fall but she was on the ground and there was a bunch of things around her that fell too onto the ground and I immediately went over and obviously i know regarding you know, california or sorry not the stereotype or just maybe how things are these days where people are very like so happy now and so crazy I, I didn't think about that um I, I didn't think about knowing that i'm not quote unquote a trained professional um you know or someone that's you know whatever emt or whatever um you know, to to help this person uh, all i saw or all i you know knew was i was there for a reason and i was there to when i saw what happened it was just all of a sudden everything just like you know kind of just made sense of everything like well in a matter of like that millisecond or whatever one second and there i heard everything it's like this is it so uh you know i, I ran over there and i asked her if she was okay and i tried to pick her up a little bit now obviously i didn't know what was going on so right now at that time i put my hands underneath her armpit and try to see it or armpits sorry try to help her up because i didn't know how much she needed but she was like kind of crying at the sense and I was asking her, you know, did she need like actual medical help? But she said it's like her knees. She couldn't, um, uh, I guess the amount of weight that she has, she can't be on her knees at, like at all. And, um, and she was making that very, very like uh, you know, apparent to me and saying, you know, you have to get me off my knee. Like this hurts right now. This hurts. And she was crying. And like I said, this all happened in a matter of like, you know, whatever seconds and kind of thing. But just trying to describe to you what I was going through in my mind. You know, it was like everything like slowed down, you know, for me. And so, you know, I asked her, you know, I was like, ma'am, you know, it's okay if I put my arms like around you, kind of like a bear hug from behind kind of thing, because she was literally on the ground. And of course, adrenaline, I guess, logical sense, adrenaline's pumping inside me. So like my foot didn't, I guess, hurt at this time or whatever it is, because it's just adrenaline. Um, however, I bear hugged her. And then from the ground, kind of like doing like a squat, but like just holding her like this. And like I literally, I, it obviously had to been adrenaline that's the most logical sense you know but i i knew there was something else that was inside me because you know i i work out you know i you know i'm i guess in general sense you know somewhat strong but not you know not like the the hulk or anything obviously so 
um, as I picked her up, I say it's adrenaline and whatever happened is like, I picked her up so fast, so quick. She was even surprised that I picked her up as fast and as, as like light as a feather, you know, type of thing. And you know, it was just odd. Like, um, well, I don't know when I put it together, it, it's not odd. You know, when I try to think of the logical sense, yes, it does seem kind of odd for certain things, but you know, I picked her up really quick, just, you know, picked her up. And she was like surprised, like, you know, like, oh my God, you know, like, you know, thank you so much, you know, kind of thing. And, and I was like, you know, no, don't worry about it. And I started putting some of the stuff away and kind of joked around. And what had happened was, I guess, um, on some of these scooters, even when you go to like a, um, like a store, or like a department store, well, I don't say department store, like some retail stores, they have these like electric scooter type of things that people can, you know, I guess borrow while they're shopping kind of thing. And when you have these little like buttons, you know, they kind of go like this and like this. So when you press it, it goes backwards or forwards kind of thing. And the way she was kind of describing it, I saw it, it was like the way like her, uh, I guess, stomach, I, I don't know, just to say it that way, her, where her stomach was to the like buttons were already kind of close. I, I, she tried to reach up to grab something and her stomach like pressed a button to kind of go forward when she obviously wasn't trying to. And that's when it kind of like jolted her, like, just, I don't know, did something, obviously she like fell. And then that's when it happened. So no uh, worker at this establishment helped her or any came to her aid or anything like that. I don't know what happened afterwards. You know, I don't know if you know, she had any bruising or anything or, you know, she talked about it with anyone. I, I don't know. I, it does not really matter to me. Um, I just knew why I was there. I knew what was my point in my you know, reasoning, you know, to, to be there. And, you know, I'm sharing the story with you. And, you know, I, I don't care you know, what anyone has to say, you know, about what had happened or their take on it. And, and trust me, this isn't for any, like, accolades whatsoever. Uh, I wanted to share this because I felt like I, I was supposed to share this with you. And the reason why I'm sharing it, at least I know my trying to make logic of, of, of things and stuff that's you know not logical at all, um, is to kind of let you know sometimes when you follow these like synchronistic moments or when you follow these guiding things, and sometimes when you first start out your spiritual adventure, if you will, or spiritual journey or spirituality, if you will, um, you start to understand like what these little tests are you know, of life. You start to understand why it was you, why it had to be you kind of thing. Like why it wasn't anyone else like had to be put in the situation, whether it's good or bad or some learning experience for you to grow or personal growth or whatever, you know, um, you know, that's for you, of course. You know, for me, this was just one of those moments where just trust me, I had a lot on my plate that day. I had, I had a lot of things, a lot of thoughts, a lot of just personal crap. I'm just like you, you know, you're, you're going through a lot of things know yourself, you know, obviously if you're watching my videos and if you're someone that's, you know, having this going down the spiritual journey and you start to understand a little bit more about life and, you know, waking up to like different things, you know, and start to understand things are just a lot different than what you thought was, you know, as an adult versus when you were a kid and things are more closer, you know, to that aspect and people are just snapping you out of it in a sense. You start to remember things. Well, and that's not saying what spirituality is, but just give you my little small take. And I'm sharing this because I just want you to know that sometimes you do the like some things that may even sound crazy, certain things of that just may seem like you know you just got to trust your gut feeling. It really is what I'm trying to like you know say out loud is. There's times when you don't really have to listen to other people and you have to listen to yourself, whatever that is. If it's going against the grain, which, oh man, I gotta do a video on that. Whether it's going against the traditional norm or, or against uh, what your family wishes are or for anything of life, you have to follow what's been guiding you. Now, your angels, spirit guides, whatever you wanna call them, you know, I, mean, I know, but like for you, you know, whatever it is for you that's guiding you. Now, of course, if anything's in light or if it's out of love, it's not going to guide you to do something really dark or too dangerous, you know, not in, no, in a sense. And it is going to get you out of your norm. It's going to get you maybe out of like your comfort zone or your bubble or whatever you want to call it, your safe zone <laughs> or whatever. And 
and you just even not even that it is just something maybe you don't normally do not saying you wouldn't care for someone I would totally would do that but like my foot was hurting there was other things going on I lost stuff in my mind you know and but at this moment in my life like I knew there was a reason why I had to go in there and I could have just walked past and I could have just really just walked past and then not only the establishment that went in but the that person that woman that fell not saying I was being a dick but it was more like oh well someone would just help you know kind of thing like pass it over like kind of comment or pass over type of situation like if you see someone on the street, you know, just because they're chilling on the ground doesn't mean they're dead or they're dying or they're not breathing. It could just be sleeping. It could be other stuff going on. You know, it could just be whatever. And at that very just little second of your mind, you're not thinking of anything, you know, too big or anything too crazy about it. You're just like, oh, someone's just whatever, just resting or, or whatever. You know, it was just this moment, like I could have just let it go. and like, oh, well, someone will take care of that noise, you know, not knowing what it was or you know, oh well you know a corridor or not corridor sorry like a worker at this you know, location would have you know done something eventually right um you know but I, I knew there was something else you know so i had to not only when i went inside you know not only when i heard that you know i did have to go and check and, and then make that split suction split second reaction and of course yeah this one could have sued me it could have been a stupid you know, decision on my part she could have said something maybe i hurt her on the way up i was bringing her up um, you know, but given that she was crying and her knees were hurting, she couldn't be on her knees, you know, trying to call 911, yes, probably would have been, I guess, more logical, I guess, safe thing to do, but I, I don't know. I, I just felt like it, it had to be me for that moment in time, just for there, you know, for me. And, and that's what I kind of want to just tell you, is that just when you have these moments, these guiding moments, I mean, I'm sure the video you know, in the past where I ended up like walking across the street somewhere that I didn't have to go through to, to get this location that I was supposed to go to. That was in din downtown of, of my, my area that I live in. And, you know, I was guided to go see these homeless people that were sitting on the church step. And this is like early in the morning, like mind you, this is like seven in the morning, um, maybe close to eight. And, you know, it, it, they were like cold. And I was, normally, like I said, I don't not like I'm a cheapskate or anything, but I don't have like a lot of cash on me all the time. So it was one of those moments where like, instead of giving like a dollar, I gave them like a 20. And it was one of these things where like, right when that happened, like I saw these like synchronistic moments for me, like my own spirit, like guidance, or sometimes people say totem guidance. Like we're seeing an image of something that means so much to you at that moment. You're like, fuck, or sorry, excuse my language, but like, oh, like I, you, know, you have to do this, or you know this was moment was for you end up crossing the street, giving them money, and then some emotional, just burst of emotion, just, I was basically almost start crying, I was like, here, I'm not supposed, you know, like, this is for you, you know, this is not me giving it to you, but someone wanted me to give this to you, kind of thing, or something wanted me to give this to you, and I went off crying, it was, it was a weird fucking experience at that moment, beautiful experience, obviously, but the logical sense, or like the, what I call back in the day array, would find that this was like a really effing weird experience. And something just guides you, you know, to do that. And the more that you kind of go with this guidance, this trusting nature, like more positive things happen to you. Not saying that you're doing it for the positive attributes or positive things. It's just better things happen to you. Like with the synchronicities of life, more trusting of your spirit guides, ancestral guides, angels, whatever, animal guides, anything and everything, whatever you want to call it, you know, um, whatever that means to, you know, for you. So um, my apologies for keeping this video a little bit longer than I anticipated, but um, or I wanted, I just wanted to just share that and just emphasize that with you. So just follow that guidance system inside, you know, follow, 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 follow the guidance inside you, follow the heart, follow the intuition, follow the seeking spirit, follow the, that guiding light inside, you know, that says, go back, you know, just go sometimes you're like no fuck that <laughs> you know like no i'm i got other things to do let me go down this coffee shop or whatever it is don't so just just follow that just see what happens maybe something doesn't happen maybe something does there's times where i felt like i was supposed to and it was kind of like more of spirit guys effing with me you know saying like just to see if i would trust them you know and then that happens too and the more you trust the more you allow let go of that control. You know, they won't steer you in the wrong path. Not saying that you always have to 
do every little thing and you're waiting in your life and you're like, and you crunch down a hole like, oh, I can't do anything until my spirit guides say anything. Not like that. You have to live your life still, obviously. You still got to do things. You got to still do you. And your spirit guides won't obviously, you can't do every little thing for you. And sometimes they test you just to make sure that you don't always need them every little second of every little day to do every little thing of life. Okay. It's just on that moment, on that moment when you just, you know, even when you're going through it and life is crappy or you feel like life is doing to you and it's not like the other way around or anything. Um, just know that trust them, be open to them, you know, that you, they won't steer you in the wrong path. Okay. So that was my story time in the cosmic ray or like how I like to say the cosmic ray experience. Um, you know, please let me know in the comment section if you, know, if you have these type of things happen to you. I know we have these experiences of life and I feel that, that we should be sharing these moments. We all come from different walks of life, different cultures, different nationalities, different regions, different continents, whatever reason and whatever it is. But I feel like we've been there for reasons we can come together and share and understand and learn. It doesn't matter what religion or anything or no religion at all or you don't believe in religion or you don't believe in spirituality or you do or, or whatever is going on in your life. I just feel like we should be sharing these experiences of life so we can learn from each other. I'm not saying you have to believe every little detail of everything that someone ever tells you, but it's just to be open-minded, just to have that open heart that we can share. It's kind of like just open forum, you know, just to talk, just to just share stories or whatever you want to call it, you know, and just to bask in the glory of us, you know, just, just to be ourselves. So with much love, respect, uh, Cosmic Surfers, I hope you have a great weekend. And, you know, I, I just like to say stay cosmic and just enjoy life, enjoy love, enjoy the freedom it is. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Be grateful for just this moment. I'm grateful for this moment. I can just be here right now sharing this experience with everyone that's watching this. So thank you for watching this experience and watching this video and you know thank you good night cosmic surfers sweet dreams <laughs>